What is going on everybody? How is everybody doing today? Welcome here today to a new channel of mine. Yeah, I kind of shout it out on my main channel, my second channel, and it is going to be a channel surrounded about the NFL. We're going to be doing some Madden rebuild stuff, some Madden sim stuff, some tier list videos, some ranking videos, mock drafts, all that type of stuff will be on this channel because I am a very passionate football fan. I wanted to make some football content for you guys and I felt kind of weird doing it on my main or my second channel because those are more about the NBA so I was like you know what I have this channel it used to be my IRL channel from like 2018 I posted like 20 or so videos on it and then stopped posting and I was like you know what perfect I don't need to make a new channel I have one right here I'm just gonna make it my football channel if you guys do remember if you're OG fans of me my first video on my first channel six things of steel was a Texans franchise back in Madden 25 so football was pretty much my first love when it came to YouTube, and I, I used to do NFL franchises with the Texans and the Oakland Raiders. Shout out to you if you remember those series. And then I kind of progressed to being more of an NBA channel because the rebuilds really stick to my audience then, and I really got away from the NFL stuff, and I used to be such a passionate fan in high school, and then my, like I said, my channel became more NBA. So yeah, you guys are getting, getting all football content on this channel. And today's first video is a little late, I know, but we are doing a Matthew Stafford LA Rams rebuild. So if you guys want to see a Jared Goff Lions rebuild, let me know Wentz might be traded this week. So we could be doing a trading Wentz Eagles rebuild, or if he gets traded to, I don't know, it could be the Colts, it could be the Bears, it could be the Washington football team. We will see. So Madden, unlike NBA, will not um, update their roster with the trade, but the season is over. So I'll give them that. That doesn't really happen in the NBA, but there's no trade override on and you can't start in the off season with a safe file and make trades and that stuff. So, uh, since there's no trade override, but I've gone into this previously and found out that the Lions will accept a Jared Goff, uh, first round pick and a third round pick trade because you can't trade 2023 first because it only allows you to trade 21 and 2022 picks at the moment. But the Rams, we're going to talk about their side of this here. I thought it was like they were a team out of left field. You thought maybe the Niners were going to go after Stafford, the Colts, the Bears, the Washington football team, but the Rams kind of came out of left field. Stafford wanted to be in SoCal and what Les Snead, the GM of the Rams has been doing over the last couple of years and what he's going to be doing until 2023 is kind of unprecedented. He traded away two first for Jalen Ramsey, traded a first away to get Brandon Cooks, and now he's trading two firsts to get Matthew Stafford, and it will only have made one first round pick from 2026 to 2023, and that 2020, or excuse me, 2020, 2016 to 2023, and that 2016 pick was Jared Goff, so there will be no first round picks made from 2017 to 2023. It's crazy, right? It is an interesting philosophy because they are trading for players that are on their second or third contracts, but they don't have to go out and like sign for them or trade for them on a previous contract and re-sign them because now they don't have to pay them their signing bonus and usually contracts are front loaded so as years two and three go on it kind of goes down a little bit with their cap hit so if they wanted to make a trade or release the player they would save more money in that sense so it's interesting on that end maybe he's just viewing that if you're picking between 20 and like 32 first round picks are kind of overrated and you should trade them so yeah we're going to start off this rebuild we won't be drafting really many first round picks at all in this video unfortunately so john johnson who was, I would say, a top five safety last year. He's a playmaking guy at the strong safety position. He's 25 years old. We need to re-sign him. 29 um, mil in cap space we have at the moment. I would give him a six-year contract, give him 5.3 mil, and then give him about, like, honestly, a $5 million signing bonus. Hopefully, he signs with that. Boom, we get him back. He was huge. Darius Williams, who had a great 2020, is also a player I want to bring back. He's 28 years old. I would be open to giving him a three-year deal so he's 31. Give him 6.8 mil and then give him about a $4 million signing bonus. I just want to make sure I get these guys uh, and he should accept that. And Oh, okay. And the tag is 18 mil. Great. So we're going to have to go out in free agency and pick him up. Gerald Everett with Tower Higby playing well. I And like I think it's better than Gerald Everett. I'm not going to bring him back. Leonard Floyd is... Mm. He's, I mean, he didn't really work out for Chicago, but he was not too bad in 2020. I mean, I'd sign him to a two-year deal with like four and a half and then 3.33. If he accepts that, cool. If he doesn't, I'm not going to lose sleep over it. Yeah, um, and I will not be tagging him for 21 and a half mil. So Josh Reynolds, another interesting piece, but we have Robert Woods. We have Cooper Cup, and I believe we'll still have Van Jefferson, who you could say is even better. Malcolm Brown with Cam Akers. We're not really going to go that route. And Darrell Henderson. Austin Bliff was pretty solid in 2020. I mean... I mean, he's a 75 overall normal development. I'd sign him to like a one-year deal because our line might not be the greatest um, at the end of the year. So, okay. If we were to tag him 12 mil, I mean, we can look at him in the offseason. Troy Hill also had a pretty good 2020, but Madden didn't give him some love here being a 74 overall normal development. I'll 
try him on a one-year deal, and he does come back. So I'm going to let, like, Matt Gay walk, Derek Rivers, former Patriots draft pick, and, yeah, everybody else walk. And we're going to go here to free agency and then the ability where I can make some trades and then move on from uh, Jared Goff in that trade. So I just want to see if, like, Andrew Whitworth retire in this game. NFC West, yes, he did, as pretty much expected because he sold in the game. Uh, so let's move over here to free agency. But first, we have to go to the trade center. And normally, like, when I'm going to be doing maybe the line side of this, I'll still make the trade. Uh, but maybe in the beginning of the year and download, like, an updated roster. But then I would just kind of go through the season, make myself 0-16, um, and then trade my first-round pick to whoever has, like, the Lions pick in the draft. Either it's, what is it, like, 7, 8, or 9. I think it's 7. Um, and then, because obviously they would accept 1 for 7. I could do that with all the picks in each round. So that's probably the most realistic you can really get with it. But what am I trying to do here? We're trading Jared Goff. Over to the Detroit Lions for Matthew Stafford. Now, I, Stafford is obviously an upgrade over Jared Goff. He has been pretty good for the Lions over the last three or so years. He's been dealing with injuries, but he stays on the field. And he really just hasn't had the greatest old line around him. Never really had a true running game. And his best receiver has been Kenny Galladay, who's been really good. But like Marvin Jones, TJ Hawkinson. I mean, it hasn't been the greatest for him. So we're going to trade the third round pick in this draft. And I'm going to trade my first round pick next year. We don't have our first in this draft because of Jalen Ramsey. And then I'll trade my first after this draft next year for, or excuse me, two years from now in 2023 for like the Lions seventh round pick. Um, so yeah, basically they got like another first in this trade was because of Goff's contract being so bad and they should agree to that. Boom. So we have Matthew Stafford. I might increase his overall a little bit because he shouldn't be that low, but yeah, we can go here into free agency. I would like to bring back Darius Williams as kind of the top guy and have a really good secondary. Let's see. Yeah. No team's going after him. Perfect. I would like, I would like to lock him up at least for two years, two year deal. And he should accept that. I mean, yeah, 95 total points. We will have three mil left over. Not a lot to do there. Not really a lot. I, I mean, if we wanted a third receiver, like, I mean, I would love to get, like, a Corey Davis or a Juju. Uh, but, I mean, we do have solid slot receivers already for the Juju part. So let me just make sure I get Darius Williams back. And that is going to be the case. Let's go. So we're not going to have a lot of scouting done because I started this off on the Super Bowl and it had the Chiefs beating uh, the Buccaneers who um, obviously won the Super Bowl. So we're not going to be able to scout a lot for this draft, which is unfortunate, but we don't really have a lot of picks in this draft as we don't have our first round pick or our third round pick. So looking at our current picks, we have two, six, and seven. Oh boy. Oh boy. So we really need to ace the second round pick. And ah, I mean, we could go... A line, I feel like that could be the best thing. Like Christian Darisaw, who I think is a first round pick out of Virginia Tech, and he'll probably go in the first round. Uh, Sam Cosme will probably be more of a second round pick. I wouldn't mind uh, trying to get another tackle. We could go after, is Alex Leatherwood high up on here? He is. We could try to scout him out. Okay, Jalen Mayfield might as well. And then if we're looking at interior line, Deontay Brown, who's I think a beast out of Alabama. Trey Smith, we can also scout. And I'm probably going to look at these old linemen, even though they have red grades. Uh, it is what it is. And then, because, like, we have our running back. Like, I'm fine. I mean, I could show you the team. Like, we're fine with running back with Cam Akers. We're fine with tight end with Higby. Receivers, I'm fine with Van Jefferson, Cup, and Robert Woods. That's a very good trio. Stafford, obviously, I'm fine with. I think I might increase his overall just a little bit. Uh, but, yeah, we could look at linebackers. Obviously, we have Aaron Donald, who is the best defensive player in football. You might say he's the best player in football. John Johnson, we got back Darius Williams. Obviously, we signed Johnson. Jalen Ramsey, you might say he's the best corner. Got back Troy Hill. I, I mean, like, we have a pretty good D-line, too. We got Michael Brockers over there on the left end. We have Sebastian Joseph Day here uh, in the middle. I mean, like, outside linebacker, we could work on. I don't know if, yeah, like, I don't know if I can really make a trade at all. We really don't have a lot of money here. So I'm going to just kind of keep scouting linebackers and offensive linemen and then probably use my three picks on that. Unfortunately, it's not like I have a two, three, and four. I have a two, six, and seven. So if we were to look at center, like Creed Humphrey is probably the guy that I would look at if he even falls to me, like Josh Myers. And then if we're going to look at potential like outside linebackers, I mean, JOK, I doubt makes it to me. Zavin Collins could be for something in real life. You know what? He could be somebody I could take. Uh, we could also look at, um, I mean, Nick Bolton, right? Where is he at? Uh, okay, I'm very intrigued on why a lot of these names are... Okay, there's Nick Bolton. Oh, he's a fifth round pick. I mean, I would like him if I can get him in the sixth, or maybe I could package six and seven and move up, because he'll probably go a lot higher than that in real life. Uh, Parsons obviously will not fall to me. I mean, I'm just trying to see who I could want. We could scout uh, Jacob Stevens here, but he... 
I don't know if I really want him. But does Matthew Stafford move the needle for this Rams team? You can let me know down below. Like, do you think that they could be... I mean, if you're looking on paper, this team just beat the Seahawks. So I would feel comfortable saying that this team could win the NFC West next year. Which teams in the NFC would you have above them outside of Green Bay and Tampa Bay, obviously? Those two teams I would have above LA. But outside of that, I'm not taking any NFC East team over them unless the Washington football team ends up with a quarterback or the Cowboys drastically improve their defense. I'm not taking any of those teams. And then if you're looking at a like another NFC North team, nope, I wouldn't take the Bears or the Lions over the Rams. NFC South team with no Drew Brees, I don't even think I would take the Panthers or definitely not the Falcons. So then you got the NFC West, like if the 49ers end up with a Deshaun Watson or somebody like that, then you would take them over the Rams. But the Rams, let's say, are a top three team in the NFC next year looking at position number three. So I'm just going to throw these guys on my big board. We're probably going to go O-line with round two. I just think it would be kind of silly if I don't end up doing that. I mean, let me just keep scouting interior line as well. Like Cade Mays, we can get fully scouted. Wyatt Davis, uh, fully scouted. I mean, these could be top guys. Tommy Kramer, uh, I mean, doesn't look too good here. And then Ben Cleveland, Jeez, I, I really don't know. Like, we're pretty much just going to go O-line and linebacker in this draft. That is going to be the case. Unfortunately, we just don't have any draft picks. We'll have more capital next year. Uh, but yeah, it's a shame, right? So did, I wasn't even able to look at the combine grades. That is unfortunate. So we can take a look at the free agency recap. You can see that Levante David, Super Bowl champion. Levante David going to the Cardinals. Shaquille Griffin going to the Jags. Will forward to the Titans. Marlon Max to the Dolphins. Melvin Ingram going to Cincy. Galladay going to Oakland. Desmond King to Cincy. Gr Wow, Cincy landing a bunch of free agents. Gronk as well. Olivier Vernon trying to match Cincy there. Going to the Baltimore Ravens. Marcus Williams to the Dolphins. Marcus May to the Ravens. Wow, the AFC Corvette, North Corvette. having a like huge Corvette. free agency, at least for the, uh, the Ravens and the Bengals. Corvette. Uh, Juju to the Lions, Alex Mack to the Bengals, wow, uh, Corey Davis to the Washington football team, holy crap, the Bengals signed so many players, William Jack, they did lose William Jackson though, which is pretty huge, wow, okay, so, yeah, it is NFL draft time, we're just praying that we hit the second round pick, because if we don't, it's not gonna look pretty, so let's see, does Zach Wilson go one, watch Zach Wilson go one, uh, no, they got it's Trevor Lawrence, all right, and then Zach Wilson goes two, number three is Jamar Chase, so not... Panay Sewell. So that is interesting. Maybe Sewell falls to the uh, Bengals there. Do the Falcons take him now? They, oh, I just simulated to my pick. <laughs> I meant to do next pick. God damn it. All right. So we'll take a look maybe at that recap. I wish there was a full draft recap. I, I'm so dumb that I did that. So Jesus, Justin Fields is here. <laughs> Trey Lance. Okay. J Jeremiah Wusu Caramo is here. Walker Little. Mac Jones is here. Seth Williams. I mean, I wasn't really going to look at receiver like that. So if I look at my board... I mean, Zayvon Collins could be a huge pickup. I, I kind of wanted to go O-line, but Zayvon Collins looks like he could be somebody with uh, hidden development. Nick Bolton, I mean, maybe I'll trade up for him, and then we'll just say screw offensive line. I mean, yeah, you know what? Because a lot of it's really Walker Little or Zayvon Collins here. I'm going to go Zayvon Collins. Uh, the linebacker out of Tulsa, who could be a first round pick. We're like, let's go hit in development. That's huge. 59th in true value. We took him at 57th. So I think I'm going to try to trade up and get Nick Bolton as well. Somebody that's probably going to go in the first two rounds in real life. But uh, we're going to try to move these two for a, I don't know if a, I mean, maybe a team will give me a fourth. Like, let me just see where the Bears value this at. Uh, okay, so we're going to try to get 105 from the Broncos. Is that possible? No. All right, so we'll try 136. I'm sure they will accept that, and they do. So we have a high fifth round pick. I don't know if Nick Ball, he probably doesn't fall to me, but I'll see you in three rounds. And yeah, he is not here. So a lot of my draft board is in here at pick five. I mean, if we're looking at the top guys that comes... Hamza Nasir Odin will probably go a lot higher. D Darian Kendrick. This is the top down on a draft class on Xbox. So, uh, yeah. I mean, Rashawn Slater is here. I'm going to take him just because he's going to go in the top 15 in real life. But why is he a late fourth rounder? If you guys have a real... Like, this is the TFG, I believe, draft class. Let me know. Because there's no reason for him to be going in the fifth round when he's going to be a top 15 pick on draft night. I mean, he's kind of sucks. He's a 64 overall. He'll probably start a tackle for us because our O-line is just that bad. Uh, but yeah, I mean, we'll see how this Rams team can do.
Because we have a good secondary, we have a good D line, but our linebacking core is still a work in progress. And I do want to see who like the Falcons and the uh, Bengals ended up taking. So Bengals ended up getting pretty nicely well here at pick five. Shout out to them. And they got Chase Smith. I'm glad they're protecting Joe Burrow. And then if we're looking at the Falcons here, they ended up going with Micah Parsons at four. And then Trey Sermon and just, oh my God, like obviously every Falcons fan and Sage Surratt would love that. Who did the Giants going? They got Gregory Russo. Uh, Jaguars with their second first round pick. They got Cade Mays. That was our pick. Yeah, 25. Caleb Farley going to the 49ers with uh, Richard Sherman being a free agent. The Jets get Zach Wilson. The Lions in the top 10 ended up going Jalen Waddell, Travis Surratt. Okay, they got Master Teague in the third round. Packers got Christian Barmore. I like, don't see him falling to 29 in real life. Patrick Sertain going to the Lions. And they get Therese uh, Marshall. I don't know why it has it as Terrence. I, I mean, maybe this is just a horrible draft class. I'll, I'll try to work on it. But this is the TFG one. Like, I'll show you when I I can down on a draft class. Uh, so we will advance to the preseason here. I'll just see you guys at the start of week one. All right, so I improved Matthew Stafford to be an 82 overall with start development. You would say he's a top 10 or borderline top 10 quarterback. I think he's a top 10 quarterback, so I think that's pretty fair. So, I mean... Like, we got Cooper Cup, we got Robert Woods, I might throw Cooper Cup out of the slot, we got Van Jefferson as our third receiver, Stafford and Cam Akers with Daryl Henderson there, we got Tyler Higby. we got Rob Havenstein here on the right side with Austin Corbett, not too bad, 75 overall and 79, it could be worse, we got Brian Allen and Dave Edwards here with our center and left guard, and honestly... I'm just going to start with Sean Slater here at left tackle. What do we have to lose? On the defensive side of the ball, we got Zavin Collins here as our left outside linebacker. We got John Johnson, Darius Williams, Brockers, Joseph Day, Aaron Donald, Jalen Ramsey, Troy Hill, Taylor Rapp. I think this team is good enough to go to the playoffs. Like, obviously, we got to work on just the linebacker core and upgrading those next offseason for what we can even try to do. Uh, we got Guskowski and Johnny Hecker. I signed Guskowski. I actually forgot to mention that. And then our specialist, Troy Hill, will be our slot corner. And then I guess, yeah, we'll just roll Van Jefferson as our slot receiver. So, yeah, I'll see you guys actually in a little bit. I just want to show you what draft class I downloaded. All right, we're one and one to start the year. We just beat the Super Bowl champion. So, if I go to Scout College Players, I just want to just show you. So, uh, if I do import local file, it was this one the tfg draft 2021 and i don't know maybe it's a little flawed so you let me know if you have a better one i'm on xbox so i can get the xbox one or the xbox series x classes so yeah please let me know that down below i would appreciate it so i mean we will not have our first round pick in this draft and oh yeah okay because i already traded away so i gotta trade next year's first i mean at least we have our second and our third i don't know who we're gonna even target in this draft like obviously we're gonna look at online and linebacking core so if we can immediately just kind of look at somebody we'd want christian harris Nicobe Dean, Shane Lee, like one of these guys that could fall to me in the second round, we could use a Mike, uh, Damon Clark, I mean, Owen Pepo, I doubt falls to me, but we could scout him at least, why not? So yeah, I'll see you guys at the end of the year and we'll see how we do. I'm hoping we do make the playoffs and we should make the playoffs. All right, so we're about to finish up the regular season. And like I said, I would like to make the playoffs with this team. I'm not trying to tank. All right, so it's looking like we won the division, baby, 12 and four. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, we do get a buy, so wait, are we the one seed? We are the one seed, so we get the buy. That is massive. So you know what it's called? Madden updated with the the uh, standings at the end of the year where they implemented that the, there's a 17, three wildcard teams, and only the first seed gets the buy, which is cool. NBA, on the other end, 2K, does not implement a 72-game season or the play-in tournament. Just, I'm giving Madden some props here. They have their flaws. Oh boy, we know they have their flaws, but I'd like to give them some credit there for at least implementing that, but that was a little bit, I guess, before COVID that time, I don't know. So, uh, yeah, we can take a look at the stats for this year before we get into the playoffs. So Matthew Stafford, okay, maybe this wasn't the right scheme for him, 3,300 yards, 20 TDs, 15 interceptions. Rushing-wise, I mean, this was the scheme for Cam Akers, who had 10 touchdowns, 1,300 yards, and 250 carries. I mean, he was a stud this year, the former Seminole, correct? Yeah, and then looking at receiving, Cooper Cup led us in receiving yards. Robert Woods, not the greatest here he i guess hurt from the scheme blocking wise take a look at the sacks uh, i mean that's what i get for trying to start him and then we can look at tackles terrell burgess was our um leading tackler aaron darnold aaron donald geez darnold uh, was our leading uh qb sack guy with 13 zaven collins six and a half as a rookie you know what i will take that and then jalen ramsey five picks baller Burgess, four uh, picks. Darius Williams, four picks as well. So, but yeah, we got a lot of interceptions this year, which is nice to see. So maybe I won't go or I'll change my scheme. I mean, probably not the greatest idea to change your scheme right before you play your first playoff game um, or a week before, but we're going to attempt it. I mean, West Coast zone run, 
I mean, we could go to vertical zone run. I just wanted to like benefit Stafford, you know. So we'll go to vertical zone run and we'll see how it pans out. Maybe I should go to a 4-3. Uh, but yeah, let's see what we're taking on here in round two of the playoffs. It will be the 9-7 Minnesota Vikings. So a winnable game. Justin Hollins and Zayvon Collins. We will upgrade there. Collins is very nice. He's up to a 77. And I believe he has star development. Um, I don't think he got superstar, but we can just take a look to see if he did. Yeah, he got star development and... Um, Nobody really changed there, as you could see. So we will be, I mean, okay, yeah, Henry, uh, Akers is up to an 85. Stafford's still at 82. So we'll see if we can knock off the Vikings. I mean, we should, but it's Madden. So I I'm just glad we made the playoffs and won the division. <laughs> there we go. We lose 24 to 10 because, of course, we do. Oh, damn, that sucks. Stafford, what are we doing out here, man? Did you not perform well? Maybe that wasn't the scheme to switch to. Probably not a great idea doing that in the playoffs. I mean, he didn't make any mistakes. He got sacked three times with Cousins. I guess similar quarterbacks. I mean, uh, just where you'd rank them. They beat us. Uh, Cam Akers only got 11 carries, so maybe I strived away too far from that. He got three carries, 90 yards, and a TD. And that is a shame that we could not go to the conference championship this year. So we do have a busy offseason upon us. We'll see who wins the Super Bowl and will uh, be the reigning one or reigning champions going into next year. It is the Washington football team over the Bengals. So the Bengals made that many moves. All right, shout out to them. Joe Burrow got an NFC chip already in year two. If we take a look at any of our retirees, nobody. Sherman, Cam Wake, and Dustin Colquitt all retire. So we will have to resign a couple players. Zayvon Collins up to a 78 overall. So let me take a look at who is here. Sebastian Joseph Day, I would like to bring back. Austin Corbett, I'd like to bring back. And okay, like Troy Hill. Okay, so those are the two important ones. Duck, we can bring back Tuck Hodges, even though I do have injuries off, so we don't really need to work, worry about a backup QB. Okay, we have a little bit of cap space. So I'm going to offer him a three-year deal. I'm going to give him 6.6 .6 .6 mil, and we're going to give him about a six and a half signing bonus. I'll give him four years. Uh, I'll, I'll save us some money and boom, we get it back. That's huge. And then we will have some money to spend in free agency, but I would like to bring back Austin Corbett. We can give him a four-year deal. It will save us a little bit of money adding on an extra year. And let's go out and give him like two point. Yeah, he should accept that. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, so I'm not gonna bring back anybody here. Troy Hill, I mean, for 1.6 mil, we can bring him back. Uh, we'll still have 28 mil in free agency. Okay, that's fine. So we'll have about 30 mil in free agency. We're looking for linebackers or another, um, or offensive lineman. Those are the two things that we desperately need. So I'm just hoping this free agency class is nice at those two specific positions. So uh, we'll go here, 31 mil here in free agency money. Jair Alexander, I mean, we don't need another quarter like that, but that's interesting. Trent Williams, but he's 34. Mitchell Schwartz is 33. We could move him to left tackle. Wyatt Teller, though, move him to left guard or move Corbett to left guard. That is an idea. Orlando Brown is 26. I mean, I kind of want to land at least two of these guys. I would like to land a top linebacker and a top uh, lineman. Do we have our... Is Dyson Gaskowski do a one-year deal? Okay, so let me get a kicker. We can pick up Jason Myers. We'll give him, like... 1.5 for three years, lock him up as our kicker. So uh, let's do that. Hopefully he will end up siding with us. I would like to go after Wyatt Teller here. And yeah, that's somebody, no other offers on him. So we're going to give him, honestly, this contract, four-year deal, save us a little bit of money down the line. I mentioned that. Um, and he should accept that after day one, 92 total points. I mean, I'm praying he does. Looking at a potential center, mm, the Pound C Twins, Maparitis, I don't think I'm going to touch. I mean, we could look for an upgrade, so like that could be Matt Paredes, honestly. So we'll give him a one-year deal worth about 3.9, and we'll lower that. And then I'm hoping I can get a linebacker. I mean, I saw LVE here, but he's got some teams to bid on. I mean, is there somebody that doesn't have a lot of bids? Von Miller? <laughs> Tyce Bowser? I mean, we, we could use an upgrade. So middle linebacker, I mean, we could go after Jordan Hicks, but he's not. I mean, Van Der Esch, how much can I really offer him that can land me him? So if I gave him this... I give him a six-year deal, uh, five-year deal worth that. Could that be a number one? Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, duh. That's a lot of money too. So we're going to give him like six mil and 3.8. Does that get it done? Not, how many points is that? That is enough. Well, I don't think he'll sign with us because usually if it's close like that, you're not going to get it. But I just want Wyatt Teller to improve the line. Please, please, please. Let's go. We get Van Der Esch. Do we get Teller? Let's go. We go three for three. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's go. That is a massive free agency for us. That is actually so huge. Damn, let's go. That is massive. So uh, I scouted a bunch of people here. We do have the combine grades. So let me look at potential. I mean, we have our senator. We have our guards. 
And we could use another tackle. So uh, Nick Broecker, we could go. Uh, but I doubt he falls to me. Anya Moore, Zion Nelson. So there's a plethora of guys we can target here. Let me just kind of keep scouting offensive linemen. And then next week, I'll scout uh, just more linebackers. So let me just keep doing that. I mean, yeah, we're good with interior line. Uh, I signed enough guys there. And then we are just really looking for a tackle, another tackle. Um, because we have Rob Heaven signed at one time uh, tackle. So I just need one more. So let me just look at another outside linebacker. Or wait. LVE is a middle, correct? I believe he is a middle linebacker. Uh, let me just double check. So he is a middle linebacker. So, oh, yeah, we could use another middle linebacker, obviously. And I really don't know who that could be. That could just be maybe like a fifth round pick. It's just something better than what we have now. So I scouted all the middle linebackers already. Yep. And right outside linebacker, we can keep scouting. Jeez, uh, I mean, there's really not. Okay, Chris Bogle. Bogle. Uh, sorry for butchering his name. We can go after Henry to oh, Oto. Uh, Muhammad Dibate. I, I don't know what that was. And we get Jacob Myers. Let's go. Or Jason Myers, not. Because I was like, oh, Jacoby Myers. And then I, yeah, my bad on that. So uh, we can kind of just keep scouting linebackers. Just get them all figured out. And I'll see you guys at the NFL draft. All right. So it is draft time. We've done a lot of scouting. Actually, before I forget, let me trade my first round pick next year to the Detroit Lions for a seventh. Because this pick is supposed to go to the Lions in the Matthew Stafford trade. So yeah, I'll just take their 2023 seventh and I'm sure they'll accept that. So yeah, draft time. We're just hoping that a guy we have a first round grade on falls to us in the second round. We can take a look kind of where maybe the top guy signed. JJ Watt didn't sign. Interesting. We don't really need a tight end or a running back. A couple of them didn't. Jair Alexander going to the New York Giants. Aaron Jones to the Steelers. I mean, I'd love that as a Steelers fan. Trent Williams to the Jags. Mitchell Schwartz back to Kansas City. Von Miller, Jags. Okay, so the Jags landed Von Miller and Trent Williams, two or 34 and 33 year old. Philip Lindsay to the Seahawks, or Leno Brown to the reigning Super Bowl champions. That's a huge pickup for them. Mostert to the Titans, or the Texans, she's because I was looking at Roddy Harrison, who went to the Titans. Um, and those were pretty much it. You got David Njoku going to Washington, James Daniels going to Cincy. Um, Cincy still being huge players in free agency, loading up for next year. So let's start this NFL draft. I just want to see where maybe Sam Howell goes. Um, so let's see the Steelers. Do they draft them? They do Aaron Jones and Sam Howell. That'd be pretty fun. Uh, the Eagles take Kevon Thibodeau or Thibbo. Yeah, Thibodeau. Okay. I just want to make sure I was saying that right. Oh, and Papa. Okay. So yeah, he wasn't falling to us. And then, uh, Derek Stingley Jr. Probably the best secondary player in the draft. George Pickens, who is a baller. I wonder if Garrett Wilson will go in the first round, but yeah, I'll see you guys at my pick. We're going either tackle middle or outside linebacker. So we have the 27th pick here in the second round. We could take a look at maybe who we've scouted is still on the board. Kaidon Slovis from USC still there. And Master Teague is in the Sky's Jair Quest twice. Why? 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 I don't know. Um, so we are looking at potentially a left tackle. Uh, okay, really nobody I like out of here then. I don't really think we're going to reach on a sixth rounder at this moment. If we're looking at right tackles, oof. Bryce Benhart might be the, oh man, like I mean, he was quick. But they view him as a fourth round guy. He could fall to us in the third. I mean, I'm going to wait. I'm not, I'm not going to risk that. So we might go Henry To Oto here. Uh, we could go middle linebacker. Damone Clark. Pair him up with LVE. That could be nice. Jack Sanborn. And then, or we can go, oh, mm, Chris Bogle. Chris Bogle. Nick Benito out of OU. All right. Um, Demarion Orshawn. He looks pretty good. So, I mean, I might just go Sanborn or Clark in the next round. And I think I'm going to take... Demarvian, 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 I apologize, overshown here. Dio, we're going to go for him. Please be good. Please be hidden. Let's go. He's hidden development. I know we reached. I just didn't know if he was going to be there in the third round, but hidden development, that is huge. So I doubt that middle linebacker is still here. So we could go Jack Sandburn. Uh, we don't have a fourth, so we're expecting him to fall to the fifth. So you know what? I might just... I mean, maybe I should have went to, to this round and then took the other linebacker. Whatever, though. So I'm going to go Jack Sandburn, get a better middle linebacker, too. Uh, 68 overall. Uh, I, I, that's not a great pick. So honestly, we could go depth. We could draft another corner here at, in the fifth round. Uh, do we have any scouted? I do not. Great. So if we're looking at tackles. Oh, boy. Uh, left tackle. Okay. So like Connor Glavin... Galvin, I mean, I don't know if any of these guys are going to be better than Rashawn Slater. So let me just see who, I mean, we could go a receiver. Do we have a receiver here? No. Okay. So let me just look at available. How many guys do we really have left? So we have Tower Davis. We don't need a D tackle. I hate that that new combine stat thing is stuck up there. Don't need an outside linebacker. All right. So I might just take a flyer on a corner or a tackle. 
I mean, I don't really trust myself taking a tackle here. I mean, Austin DeCulis, yeah, I'm not. So I might just go corner and hope someone could be good because we did lose Troy Hill. Uh, so Jalen Armour Davis, uh, I don't know if I really want him. Roger McCray, McCrary, McCreary, uh, I think that's how you say it. Adrian Fry, we could go. I mean, these guys, mm, I, I don't have any of them scattered. So I'm just going to go the highest combine. Probably a bad idea, but at least he's quick, so maybe we could throw him in the slot. And he's a 70 overall. Honestly, I will take it. All right, so that was the 2022 NFL Draft. I can show you guys the uh, draft recap here, who I took in the later round. So I took Obina Eze, Ease. Uh, he, I doubt we'll start over Slater. Tayshin Fogg, um, and then Adrian Martinez. I actually didn't even realize that a second seven. So I simulated the draft after that pick. That's on me. So I'll see you guys with what the team is going to look like next year. So we got Rob Havenstein, Austin Corbett, Matt Paredes, Wyatt Teller, and we'll go Slater, yeah, as our left tackle. We still got Tyler Higby, Robert Woods, Matthew Stafford, Cam Akers, Cooper Cup, and still Van Jefferson as our third receiver. Stafford has regressed from an 82 to a 79, so we'll keep an eye on that this year when we actually just generate the best lineup, and yeah, we are going to roll with that. And then over here to the defensive side of the ball, Teller Rock went down from start to normal. He's a 77. We do have LVE and Sanborn and Zavin Collins there at as our outside linebacker. Justin Hollins still here. Yeah, we're going to go with Hollins uh, as our starting right outside linebacker. Still have John Johnson, Darius Williams, Jalen Ramsey. David Wong will be our cornerback three and potentially our slot. What's his slot rating? 71. I mean, do we maybe put him on the outside and put Darius in the slot? Possibly. And then Brockers has gone down to normal. We got Sebastian Joseph Day still and the best player on our team, Aaron Donald. So I think, I don't know. Do we want Van Jefferson there? Mm, no, nah, I think I'm going to put Robert. Let me see who was the slot receiver last year for L.A. All right, so yeah, it is Robert Woods, as I thought. So we will go and just put him there, and Van Jefferson will be out wide. And I'm sure he's got a, yeah, he's got an 85 rating there. At least I'm pretty sure he was the slot receiver. Actually, if it was Cooper Cup, I'm still just going to go with Robert Woods. So yeah, I'll see you guys at the end of the year. And hopefully, I mean, set a goal. Uh, I'm going to set it for the conference or make it to the Super Bowl. I guess we'll do the playoffs because I'm sure we will. At least I hope so. Another year, another playoff appearance as we do go 12-4, and four, the one seed in the NFC West, or we do win the division, so that is very nice to see. We can take a look at the stats, and we, wait, we were the one seed again? Oh my god, okay, so yeah, maybe the scheme was better for Stafford as he had a much better year this year. That is what I'm talking about, 32 TDs to 13 picks and 4,100 yards. Cam Akers, I guess, took a hit a little bit, but he still had a good year, and Darrell Henderson got involved a lot. He had 11 touchdowns. Damn, Robert Woods, beautiful. That's what we should have saw last year. That's on me. I messed that up. Cooper Cup had a good year as well. Same with Tower Higby. These are the three guys that we need the ball in their hands. These are our playmakers as our receivers. Sack, Slater, 11. Havenstein, 8. Okay, all right. <laughs> Deep at the side, LVE. Leading tackler, as expected. That's what we paid him to beat. Aaron Donald, 16 and a half sacks. And then did we have a lot of interceptions like we did last year? Not as many. Uh, John Johnson had three. Ramsey had three, Burgess had two. Sorry if it's Burgess, but I'm pretty sure it's Burgess. At least that's what I think. So uh, we will upgrade everybody. See, actually, we can just advance a week and then we'll upgrade everyone to see who we're facing in the divisional round as another one seed. Let's just hope we don't lose in round one again. All right, so here we go. Come on. Ooh, we got a new ability. Let's go. Is he superstar? Okay, he's superstar. I was like, is he X Factor? No, let's go. So... All right, Cam Akers, have a good game against the Saints, who I wouldn't be surprised if they still have Drew Brees, so let's see what happens in SoFi Stadium. Don't lose two years in a row in the first round. Oh, oh my God, are you kidding me? Okay, that is, he's just so frustrating. You give me the one seed two years in a row just to make me lose in the first round again, again. So they have... hit to his brother out of Maryland as a rookie. I mean, Stafford did not have a good game whatsoever. Sheesh, I mean, Cam Akers had himself a good game, thank you, but damn, bro, Stafford, come on, there's not much I need, damn, okay, so, go on to your three, so we'll see if we have any retirements, watch, like, Matthew Stafford retires, so if we go to the NFC West, nobody from our team, Pete Carroll retired, that's pretty interesting, so, who do we got to bring back, we got, uh, Darius Williams, I want to bring him back, Michael Brockers, we don't have to, Rob Havinson, I want to bring back Stafford, I mean, Jesus, okay, Taylor Rapp, I would like to bring back Matt Paredes. Okay, so we have some guys I'd like to offer contracts. Let's get on to this. So with 67 and a half mil, I mean, Stafford will cause a lot of that. Uh, we're going to offer Darius Williams a one-year deal to come back. Let's hope he accepts this. Please do so. <laughs> we're going to offer Rob Havenstein a two-year deal to come back. Please accept that. 
Thank you. I mean, I am going to offer Stafford a one-year deal. That's all. I'm not giving him any more than that, so please just take that. Okay. I'll offer him a deal in free agency. I don't think... Maybe that could even save money. I'm not tagging him. Taylor Rapp, I'd like to bring back on a three-year deal to be our free safety, and he will accept that. That's huge. And Matt Paredes, I would also like to bring back on a one-year deal to be our center next year. And I... Because I don't know if I'll be able to find a replacement, so let's do that. And he will... Test free agency. Okay, so Daryl Henderson, I don't need. David Long, we could look to bring back. And David Edwards as well. I mean, we do have Austin Corbett and Wyatt Taylor, so maybe that is a need. So let me bring back David Wong, who could be our third corner. Uh, so let me just pay him that. Yeah, that's fine. Because I don't know if I'll continue to look at corner. I mean, I could. So let's go here to free agency. And I got to bring back Stafford. I'm hoping there's not a team that's annoying me. And that's trying to bring in Stafford. Because then I'll just be like, why? He's a 75 overall. He's obviously regressing. Daniel Jones, Stafford. Okay, so maybe we can bring back Stafford on a little bit less and he'll accept that. Like, let's do something like that. I mean, how many points is that? 75. That might save us some money, actually. That might save us some money. So we have 39 mil. I would like to bring back who else tested free agency. It was Darius Williams, correct? I mean, Sean Murphy Bunnings here. Jamal Dean. Jamal Dean, I mean, I mean, Jonathan Jones. There's some good guys here. So I'm going to look to bring back Darius Williams, at least on a one-year deal. We'll offer him something like that. I mean, is that the most points? It should be. Boom. And then Sean Murphy Bunnings is interesting. But let me just look at offensive linemen that are also here. Jonah Williams, I'm probably not going to get into a bidding war with him. I mean, we can look at right tackle, Mitchell Schwartz, Morgan Moses. I mean, could pass on those guys. Is there another good outside linebacker? Sean Gary. I would actually love me hit, um, uh, some Sean Gary if I can pick him up. Cor okay, Sean Murphy Bunning I would also love. And you know what? If we can have a cornerback core of Sean Murphy Bunning, Jalen Ramsey, and Darius Williams, I think that's loaded. So let's give him a five-year deal. Yeah, let's give him a five-year deal. How many points is that? 97. That is not even number one. Okay, so let's give him a little bit more. And then maybe we can even offer an offensive lineman at that. So yeah, where is number one? I don't think we end up signing him. Um, unfortunately, maybe I can go to Jonathan Jones if we don't. So with that other, do we go after Rashawn Gary or do we go after an offensive lineman? Um, because we can always just target one in the draft. I really haven't done much scouting to know. So let me offer Rashawn Gary a contract. Oh boy, he wants a lot of money. I mean, if we can pick him up, we can pick him up. So we'll see what happens. I, I know I'm trying to go all in because Stafford is regressing. So I really need to upgrade the defense for it to be elite. So please just give me someone, please, please. Uh, so after that, we get Murphy Bunning. Let's go. Uh, we get Rashad Gary and we get Darius Williams and Stafford. Let's go. We go four for four. That's what I'm talking about. So we only have like five mil left. Um, that's not really enough to go after a offensive lineman at all, but I am happy with that. I might just draft five offensive tackles, even though we don't have our first round pick. Let's go. Let's go to the draft. That is massive for us. So our secondary is going to be loaded. Our linebacking court is going to be so good now with Zevin Collins. We will have LVE, Jack Samburn, and also Rashawn Gary. I I'm very excited about that. So it is an auto-generated draft. So let's go here to our next user pick. And let's see who we're going to take in the second round. It's going to be 27 again. No, it is 28 this year. <laughs> no first round picks. Oh my God. Yeah. Not a lot of these guys are good. Jelani Banks. We okay. We also do need a D lineman. We could put Rashawn Gary on the D line. Because Michael Brockers, I chose not to bring back. So we could do that and draft like a Frank Norris. I mean, how's the offensive lineman that I scouted? Okay. Um, my like Corey Barber. That that's a third round pick right there. That is a third round pick and a half. I'm I'm penciling that in. That's my third round pick. Right tackles. Okay, I didn't scout any right tackles. Uh so let me look at uh honestly, I might take Frank Norris here. Unless there's a stud receiver. Uh yeah. So I'm going to take, I think, Frank Norris and then move Rashawn Gary to the D-line. Or we can maybe move Norris there because Brockers did leave. Uh, I mean, let me just look at D-lineman and I didn't really... Okay, Harold Ross. Interesting. Devon Bingham. Also interesting. I mean, wait, no. We drafted... Not, no, wait. Yeah, because we have Zavin Collins. Wait, I'm tripping. We don't need another outside linebacker. We could just put Gary on the D-line as it is, Right? Um, I might be tripping, but yeah, Overshone, I don't know why, okay, I really played Terrell Lewis, so, yeah, well, Overshone, Sandburn, LV, and Gary, and Collins, and then we'll put Gary on the D-line, yeah, uh, I'm gonna try that out, or we could put maybe Donald there, so I don't really need to go with D-lineman, so, who do I take? This guy skipped the combine, I mean, he could be pretty good, uh, so I don't know, <laughs> I'm not going to take this guy. I know he's a first round, but yeah, no. I'm going to take Corey Barber next round. So maybe I'll just go a... Is there a stud free safety? We really, really didn't scout safeties. I don't need another corner. 
Maybe I'll take a flyer on a guard, or do we have a centers? I mean, Mac Reinhardt. Um, I'm really torn on what we should do. I'm really torn. So maybe I'll go Frank Norris, and then I'll move to a 4-3 and put Rashawn Gary and Frank Norris on the D-line and make Aaron Donald a D-tackle with Sebastian. Um, okay, you know what? I'm going to take him. Uh, he is the normal. I'm an idiot. If that barber tackle isn't there in the third round, I'm actually going to cry. I should have just got my guy there. Oh my God, he's not going to be there. I know he's not going to be there. I'm going to be so pissed because tackles go. Watch him not be there. Oh my God, I'm so dumb. Please, please just tell me he's there. Please. Oh, thank God. Okay. Thank God. I'm taking him. I'm not waiting. No, he's normal development. Damn, but he's going to start over Slater. All right, on to the fourth round. Let's just look who we have scouted. Any green? That's all I'm looking for. We could go for John Rowe. Maybe he's better than Frank Norris. Uh, Stefan Miller. Stefan Miller. Stephen Miller. Skyward Clifford. He looks pretty good. Uh, Amari Thomas. All right, so I'm either going to go Clifford or Miller. Eh, I'll go Clifford. Why not? Please be good. Please be good. Hidden development. Damn it. So to look at the draft recap, I don't even know what my scheme is going to be next year. Like, here you go. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure what it's going to end up looking at. So I'll see you guys at the start of the season. So let me just look at my scheme currently. It is vertical zone run, probably the best option. All right. So we're going to keep that. I mean, do we go to a base 3-4? <sighs> we could go to a disguise 3-4. You know what? We might do that. Um, No, we'll, we'll stay at a base 3-4. Might as well. All right, I, I mean, I'm going to look at the depth chart and then see if I want to go to a 4-3, but I don't think I'm going to change my mind. So if we're going to get our offense, Barber's, I mean, he's a lower overall, so maybe I will start Slater. Uh, did I, I didn't get back Paredes. Oh my God, I'm so dumb. Why did I think I got back Paredes? Oh my God, okay. Um, before we even show the team, I might trade for a center. All right, this is an upgrade. I'm worth giving up a third and a fifth this year. Terrell Lewis for Weston Richburg. Please, okay. I, I needed to center up that. That is my fault for thinking I re-signed Matt Paredes, so that's on me. I deserve that. All right, so yeah, we got Wyatt Teller, Rashawn Slater, Weston Richburg, Austin Corbett, and Rob Havenstein. Tower Higby, Woods, Van Jefferson, Cooper Cup, Akers, Stafford. Uh, that is the offense. Stafford, 75 overall in normal development. <laughs> We're screwed. Uh, so we got Rashawn Gary. I do want over Sean getting minutes, though. Um, no, 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 yeah. So we're going to put Overshone as our left outside linebacker, and we're going to put Rashawn Gary as our D-lineman. So, yeah, that's an upgrade over Michael Brockers. Definitely, we got Johnson. Uh, I mean, Burris, we could... Yeah, you know what? We're going to start him there, and then we're going to start uh, John Johnson over here. We got Ramsey, Sean Murphy, Bunning, and Darius Williams. Our defense is kind of elite. It's up there. So slot corner will be Darius Williams, and slot receiver will be Robert Woods. This team, I mean, it's quarterback play, but I'm going to live and die by Stafford. He's the title and thumbnail of this video. Final year. Let's hope he can lead us to the promised land. All right, so we're about to find out where we end up in season number three. Please be in the playoffs. Okay, so we don't, we do win the division, but we don't get a bye. We were so far from the one seed. We end up going nine and seven. The Cowboys got the one seed. So we do have a home playoff game, but the, and we do have a better record than the Vikings who also made the playoffs. So let's hope that this team can actually win. I mean, even if we win, we're going to the divisional round. And then if we lose in the divisional round, we've lost that every year. So we got to win two playoff games here. So Stafford, I mean, a solid, all right, touchdown interception ratio, not great. 3,600 yards. Cam Akers, stud. I'm, maybe I might go back to uh, the other zone run I had or vertical or whatever zone run I had. Uh, Robert Woods was fine in the slot. Cooper Cup and there's Higby. Blocking, uh, Havenstein's. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? But there's where we ended up having a winning record, our defense. Uh, Sacks-wise, Zayvon Collins, stud. And Ramsey had seven picks. Oh, my God. Okay, so oh, what do I do? What do I do? Like, I, I want to rely on Cam Akers a lot. So, I don't know. Let's just advance. Please don't have three straight first round exits. Please. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Okay, I think we peaked. I think that's honestly our peak, is making the playoffs, but losing whenever we play a good team in the playoffs. Because that's, I mean, they were 8-8. Eight and eight. They were so average, and we got blown out. And I think we hit our peak with Stafford. Yeah, he gets outplayed by Gardner Minshew. Really? Okay. All right. So, uh, yeah, Van Jefferson had the game of his life. Okay. Um, Sacks, we gave up four. That was probably on me, not... Pairing tackles up with these guys. Murphy Bunning at 14 tackles. We had no sacks. 
Our elite defense couldn't get to the quarterback. I mean, that's a recipe for disaster. So, yeah, that is going to be it for me. I hope you guys did enjoy. I mean, I'll see. We can see who wins the Super Bowl. We got extended. Okay. Can I not see who won the Super Bowl? So, the Dallas Cowboys, the one seed, beat the Buffalo Bills 26 to 20. So, yeah, that is going to be it for me. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode early on this channel of the NFL Draft College football channel. I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you enjoy and you just want more football content. And then you can let me know in the comments. Do you want to see a Lions rebuild next? Do you want to see like a, I don't know. Do you want to see a Zach Wilson Jets rebuild or a trading Deshaun Watson Texans? Let me know down below. I am up for whatever. Wentz might get traded this week, so you'll probably see something on that. And let me know in the comments if there's anything else you want to see me do or anything I can improve on. Let me know. I read all the comments, especially I will on this video. But yeah, thank you all for watching. I love you guys. Drop a like if you did enjoy. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.